What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over should you summon for Indra. Now, I know a lot of people have been talking about, oh Darskin, he's not better than this unit. Oh Darskin, he's not better than that unit. Uh, he's not good. He's Look, alright, for all those people out here, I'm going to break it down, right? I'm going to break down all you need to know and everything you need to know if you should summon or not. So anyways, uh... Let's go ahead and get into the video. So, starting out, Indra is a body unit, right? Um, he's uh, already out on JP, right? He's going to be coming out on Global next update, along with the Super Impact for Ashura. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about his banner, and then after we talk about his banner, we're going to talk about him. So, um, going to his banner, right? Uh, it's the same as usual, 400 pearls. Uh, the only thing that's like different or how, how do I put this? Um, let's just talk about the units, right? Uh, the first three units, Nagato, Utakara, One Tail Naruto. All of those units are really outdated. Even though Naruto's amazing, uh, they're all really outdated. They're not really worth it. Now, um, a lot of people were saying, um, oh, his banner sucks, yada, yada, yada. Um, well, if you, if you looked at the banner, you, you, you would be able to see this, right? Um, step one, it's just a rate up for those units. Those are like the main featured units. They're featured, but they're not, they're not the main ones. And I'm going to get into why it says that. So it's a uh, rate up for those three, three times rate up for Indra. You're guaranteed one of these six, right? Then it's a regular multi six times up for Indra. Then you're guaranteed one of these three. At no point are you guaranteed just these three units. And the reason why is because they know that they're outdated. They're not as good as the newer units. Now, yes, they are still featured. But you have a bigger, uh, a higher chance of pulling Madara, Kabuto, and um, Kaguya than the other three. Now, talking about Madara, Kabuto, Kaguya, right? Um, Kaguya is a staple unit on the Heart Team. Madara is a staple unit. Uh, on the wisdom team and Kabuto is a staple unit on the skill team So all three of those units are actually like really good units All three of those units are a part of the like optimal wisdom skill and heart teams So um, it becomes really good Kaguya gets dupes. She becomes amazing Kabuto gets dupes. He becomes amazing Madara doesn't need any dupes, but if you get dupes, he will do more damage um, Then you get nine times up for Indra then you get injured guaranteed on the last step. Um, overall, his banner's not crazy good. It's very mediocre. But um, I have Madara, Kabuto, and Kaguya with zero dupes. My one tail Naruto has zero dupes. My Utakata has two dupes. And my Nagato has zero dupes. So regardless of what I pull, it would be beneficial to me because I have no dupes for any of them. Um, on top of... you. It, it, you're more likely to pull Kaguya, Kabuto, and Madara. Now, um, I say this all the time. If you're going to summon for a unit, you should be prepared to only pull that unit. Like, if I only pull um, Indra from 400 Pearls, I'm happy. Because I'm, I'm prepared for that. That's, that's how the game is set up now, right? People want to expect more shit. And then they don't get it and they're hurt. It's like, you can't do that. That's not how the game is. So, I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, Y'all need to be prepared to spend 400 pearls and only pull Indra. But, um, yeah. Now that we've got that out the way, let's go ahead and go to Indra's um, character. His kit. Let's see what he does. Um, he's no affiliation. Body type already. I already told you that. 100 cost goes to 40. Um, 2,000 HP. 2,100 attack stat. Mid-range. Uh, he has a counterattack, which is almost guaranteed. Um, he reduces the chance of being switch sealed. So he, he's a blazing fest, but he's more towards PvP. Let's be real. Um, 3-6 chakra. 3.8 times attack and body damage to all enemies. 40% chance of immobilize. Um, ignores any damage reduction effects. 6 chakra on his ult. 11.4 times attack to all enemies. Ignores any damage reduction effects. Knocks him back. Gives 70% immobilization resistance to self. Uh, PvP stats, 39,000 HP, 4,000 attack, 261 speed. 
Same thing, 3-6 chalk where he does the same thing for his Jutsus. Abilities, right? Nullifies Jutsu ceiling entirely. 30% chance to uh, reset normal Jutsu. Reduces chance of being switch sealed by 60%. 10% chance to get a chakra back when attacking. Uh, which both of his Jutsus are AoE, by the way. It's really good. Uh, nullifies type disadvantage and reduces damage taken by 30%. Now, um, oh, sync skills. Sync with body, nullifies attack reduction. Sync with mid range, boost attack by 250. Sync with all butt body, restores 1 HP, uh, 100 HP a turn. Now, um, these are just some of the things I've heard people say. Uh, Indra is not better than Final Valley Sasuke. Indra is not better than Skill Madara. And to that, <clears throat> number one, um, Indra does something completely different than Final Valley Sasuke. Like, I get that you, you can say Sasuke is better, whatever, cool. But it's like, Sasuke, you're looking for ultra combos, right? And um, that's, that's like your, Sasuke's main thing, right? Like, if you're not getting ultra combo with Sasuke, you may as well not use him. Uh, with Indra, you're looking to get your ultimate. Now, it may not always happen, but that's like what you're looking for. Indra's not in the same category as Sasuke. Sasuke can go in the front row. You don't want Indra in the front row, right? You want Indra to get his ultimate so he can do the maximum damage, right? Um, that's why he has Jutsu Seal Resistance. That's why he has Switch Seal Resistance so that he can stay in the front, right? That's why he has Damage Reduction so he can stay in the front so that he can get chakra from ultra combos on top of if you have to use your jutsu you have a chance to keep your chakra all of his stuff is pointing towards getting his ultimate right um <clears throat> going on to skill madara a lot of people are saying oh uh he's not as good as skill madara why would i use him when i could just use skill madara number one they're two different elements right number one so they have two different jobs skill madara um is doesn't negate type disadvantage and since he's a skill unit final valley naruto is slapping him around uh heart obito is slapping him around he's getting slapped around by all those units indra counters final valley naruto indra counters rage obito because he's a body type now i'm not saying he's better than skill madara he's not but they they do different jobs on top of not everybody that plays blazing has Fauna Valley Sasuke. Not everybody that plays Blazing has skill Madara. They may not have had 400 pearls then. They may have 400 pearls now. And if you do, Indra would be a good unit to use. Now I'm telling you now, if you want if you're planning on not using using Indra for PvP, don't summon. Indra is not worth it for PvE only. He is a PvP unit. I know he's Blazing Fest, but I'm telling you now. Indra is a PvP unit. So if you're not using them for PvP, you may as well not summon. Now, um, obviously, uh, if you're a whale or whatever, you could do whatever you want because, you know, you, you literally, you, you know what I'm saying? Shiny summons on everything. You can do what you want. Um, if I, I say if you have Final Valley Sasuke... If you have Final Valley Sasuke, you still could summon. If you have Skill Madara, you could summon. This is my thing, right? If you have Final Valley Sasuke and Skill Madara, I don't think you should summon, really. Unless you want to. But if you don't have Skill Madara or Final Valley Sasuke, I think you should summon. I think it would be a good banner to summon on. Unless you have, like, every unit on the banner max. Like, if every unit on this, on this banner you have max dupe, it, it's not worth it then. But, um... Yeah, I just, I, I don't think Indra's as bad as people say. People are, like, I feel like people are making him out to be bad just because Skill Madara is so good or Final Valley Sasuke is so good. That's not the case. Yes, Indra's not better than them, but Indra is by no means a bad unit. I think he's a very good unit. And uh, I'm going to summon for him, and uh, I'm going to eventually get a max duped, and I'm going to show you guys just how good Indra can be. Uh, so... Yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
yeah Suicide if you ever try to let go, uh I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone that's afraid to let go, uh You decide if you ever